Again, there's been a whole debate about the use of testosterone. Uh, can you talk about your decision and what made you uh, choose to, to go that route? Uh, just doctor's recommendation, basically. And, and, you know, before I did anything, I called that body commission and made sure it was okay. And this was a long time ago. And they said, yeah, no problem. And I, you know, I would welcome random drug testing for that and for every everything. You know, I think that, that would really help clean up the sport a lot and really give it, uh, you know, a better, you know, when people look at it, there's no bad taste in anybody's mouth if, if the UFC really implements a, a random drug testing. And, and when when was this that you uh, started up, you know, you said it was a long time ago? Yeah, five or six years ago. Okay. Does it frustrate you when you hear about like guys in their 20s and stuff using it because you think it does cast a negative light on people that legitimately do need to touch off them? You know, I don't know. I don't know everyone's situation is different. You know, it could be a legitimate reason, it could not be. I mean, obviously that makes it a little bit more fishy. But, uh, you know, I think maybe the UFC just needs to have everyone see their doctor to get approved to begin with and, and you know, go through their testing and, and make sure it's legitimate and, and uh, then monitor a little bit better. You know, it's not too tough to monitor. If it was, if it was banned in the sport, do you think he'd still be competing, or do you think that? that yeah, I'd still be competing. I'd probably be getting sick for playing the couch. It wouldn't have prevented you from fighting, though. No, but on the same token, if I wasn't fighting, I'd still be having COVID. So. This past week in England, Dana, you know, did kind of comment on. He said, "Hey, if you need testosterone, maybe you're too old and shouldn't be competing." I wonder if you heard that quote. If you felt like maybe he was taking a shot at you, or you know, if that offended you at all, that he would say that. No, I, you know, I don't think it, you know, I don't take anything he says personally. You know, he, he says a lot of things that, that are a little bit off the wall, and, and you know, so I'm not, I'm not worried about what he has to say.